Hello and welcome to the Glass Gallery. This show is called The Glory of Quilt and they were all done by a group of women in a quilting guild who, um, who make these wall hangings that look like artwork. It ain't your grandma's quilts anymore. These are updated, they're modern, they're fresh, they're beautiful. So come along and view them with us. This is Elaine Rowe, and this is some of her gorgeous work. Hi, Elaine. Hello, Elaine. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. Listen, this guild is, how, how long is it in existence? We've been in existence for a little over six years now, and um, we're almost 100 people in our guild. Wow. So it's one of the largest ones in Broward County. And how many of you are represented here? 14. 14 from our guild. Big group. Yeah. No wonder we have 150 That's wall hangings. <laughs> <laughs> but they're beautiful. Thank you very much. They really are beautiful. You know, when people say quilting, you think of, you know, your grandmother put them on your bed and you had to use them. But these are like paintings. They are, and we get from the traditional all the way to the arts. Absolutely. And the tradition, even the traditionals are not traditional because the coloring. They're upgraded. And, yes, so it's not, even the, it's not even traditional traditional. It's traditional with a twist. So and how long are you quilting? I've been quilting for like, oh, six or seven years now. No, no, about eight years now. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Elaine. I just keep we stitching. We will. <laughs> <We're real. laughs> and this quilter is Dr. Jean Bergeron. And hi, and you're very whimsical. Look at well, him. It's based on a movie um, that's out now called El Camino de Vino, and it stars my friend Charlie. And this is uh, from the movie poster, but then it also includes four of the wineries in Mendoza, Argentina, and we just had a lovely trip with him to oh, Mendoza. Nice. Yes, yeah, so he asked me for a quilt, so he got one. You're not the one who uses the computer. Yes, I am the one that uses the computer. How does that work? Well, I don't understand. I that digitize at all. the drawings. I digitize the stitching that's going to take place uh, with the computer. And uh, after I've digitized it, I bring it over to my computer. I use an HQ um, Fusion, and I pop it into the Pro Stitcher, which is the computer component, and it just stitches it right out. And I've been quilting a little longer than Elaine. How, how long is it? Oh, longer? 40 years. I, oh, that's a, that's I did a, that's my a bit first longer. quilt in 1969. Yes. And in those days, you did them by hand. Yes, I did. I, it's only been the last 10 years that I've been using a, the computer and the um, long arm quilting machines, the handy quilter machine. I think that's amazing. Well, thanks, so, Elaine. Good luck, Jean. Thanks. I just ran into our commissioner, Jack McCluskey who was viewing the exhibit. Yeah. So, what do you think? They're, it's amazing what these people have done. Isn't it? There's one that's uh, cut out of, of little kids' drawings. Looks like first grade or yeah. whatever. And I don't know how she captured that in a quilt, but it's neat. It's. I think these these women are very creative. Oh yes. And they have brought back an old art form. Yeah. And and then made it modern. <laughs> yeah. But there's they're the, beautiful. They there's look there's like that. paintings. The shelf with all the pottery yeah. or teapots and whatever. And we have our and own teapots. And then we have our own teapots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you want to these, see creative teapots, this is yeah, the place. <laughs> these sculptures are done by a young woman who just graduated high school. Yeah. They're lovely. And there's so. there's her theme. That's got a, all teapots. It, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's where she I don't think idea. she knew about it. No. It just happened to work out that way. This is anyway, good. thank you for stopping by. Hey, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kayla Saunders. Hello. And all of these teapot sculptures that you see around the gallery belong to her. Yes. <laughs> Kayla, you just graduated from Flanagan? Yes, I did. Class of 2011, Flanagan High School. And you did you take 
Yeah, I took an, I took an AP ceramics class, and that's how I made I made twelve different teapots. Now let my hair tonight because I gave some of them away, but most of them are here. They're just gorgeous. Thank you. And and your sense of humor just comes right out. Thank you. They're very whimsical. Yeah. And they're beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> the idea was kind of to like defy what a normal teapot is and like make them really different and really eccentric. So. And they are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep working because you, you're, you're on to something, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you, Kayla. Thank you Ponders. so much. <laughs>